The next day, moments after leaving the time room, Goku and Kefla chatted until they encountered Kami-sama, Mr. Popo, and another figure, Miss Vadis, semicolon, both Saiyans exclaimed in astonishment upon seeing the Angel of Universe 6 talking to the aforementioned. The Angel smiled upon spotting them in their worn clothes. I noticed an increase in your key. Good morning Mr. Goku Miss Kefla. How have you been? She asked with a smile. Well, we just left the time room. Goku responded. And what are you doing here? Kefla asked with an arched eyebrow. The presence of the Angel was unexpected, especially in the temple of Kamisama. We're leaving to attend to the time room said Kami-sama, turning to leave followed by Mr. Popo. Ha ha ho, being direct as always Miss Kefla. First of all, do you know what this is? Vados asked with a smile, showing the ring on her right hand. Kefla shrugged, while Goku was surprised to see that artifact again. The ring of time, replied the Saiyan. Exactly. I see that you know it well Mr. Goku, Vados said, laughing mischievously. Let's see, let's see. What's with that ring of time? Kefla asked, somewhat confused. With that ring, you can travel to any existing timeline, whether past, future, or another present, Goku explained quickly. He he, exactly. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm wearing this artifact, right? Vados asked the Saiyans. Both nodded several times, making the angel laugh. Vados it happens that I had gone to talk with the Supreme Kaishin, accompanied by the pupils of my god of destruction, while he was training in the time room of Earth for a day. She animatedly explained until Goku interrupted. Vados. Is it you? But, how did you find me? Goku said, surprised. The angel smiled at the curiosity of both Saiyans, with Kefla also surprised to see Vados from another time. Several days passed without your appearance, and with the girls, we began to worry. Moreover, the gods of destruction started getting killed. So, we traveled to Earth. I entered the time room, found it empty, used my staff to look through time, and saw you being swallowed by a dimensional hole bringing you to this time, luckily, Vados explained. What girls are you talking about? Kefla asked, arching an eyebrow with slight discomfort. Kalifla and Kale Goku answered seriously, looking at Kefla. He then turned to Vados and added, Then you went for the ring of time, and here you are. Yes, although the girls wanted to come, I had to convince them to stay and protect the universe since the gods of destruction were being killed, Vados replied, putting it mildly. There's something I don't understand. Why did you arrive at this moment and not when Goku first arrived in this time? Kefla asked, a little confused. Ha ha ho, that's something very simple. Seeing through time, I saw how the gentleman tried to change the future, saving his parents, Broly, and you, Miss Kefla. I followed until the end of this time, which is this moment, Vados explained. So, the end is coming? Kefla questioned. None of that, what I mean is that with the arrival of Mr. Goku in this timeline, the future of this time is uncertain, Vados clarified. So, did you come to take me back? Goku asked seriously. The smile vanished from Vados' face, replaced by a hint of sadness. So, don't you want to go back to your time? She asked. Kefla immediately looked at Goku with concern, fearing the possibility of losing him. However, Goku didn't hesitate to answer, I can't. I already have a new life here, bringing relief to Kefla. I see, then I must ask you a favor, to both. Vado said with a serious tone. What kind of favor? Goku inquired. Let them come to my time to find out who murdered the gods of destruction. The angel replied. Goku remained calm. I don't think it's necessary. Having Jiren, Tapo, and Kalifla next to Kale should be sufficient. What if they are not enough? If the enemy is more powerful? There are many things you still don't know. Vados expressed her concern. Kefla took Goku by the shoulder, earning his gaze. Come on if it wouldn't be necessary. She wouldn't insist, don't you think? The Saiyan said with a slight smile. But what about the children? Goku asked, looking at his partner. They will be fine. I trust them, Kefla replied calmly. Then it's decided. We'll go, Goku declared, bringing joy to Vados. I'm glad to hear that. So, let's get going, Vados said with a huge smile. One moment, Kefla interjected with an authoritative tone. First, we will go to tell the children and Bulma. Why Bulma? Goku asked, arching an eyebrow. Simple she is the most responsible of all and will keep everything in order in case something happens, Kefla explained while shrugging her shoulders. What if something happens while we're not there? Goku asked, you must trust others more Goku. They have improved a lot, Kefla replied, smiling. Vados analyzed the situation, it could take us time. I don't know anything about this subject. We have to investigate. 
so let them know that you will be outside for a while. Goku reassured, it's okay, the children must be with Bulma, placing a hand on his shoulder. Wait, first things first, Vada said, adjusting their clothes and healing their wounds with her staff. Thank you, both Saiyans expressed before disappearing. Capsule Corporation. At that moment, Gohan, Yuumi, and Brawl were having a snack while doing their school homework under Bulma's supervision. Goku, Kefla, and Vado suddenly appeared in front of them. Ah, what the? Bulma screamed, hand on her chest from the scare. Hello, everyone. Goku greeted with his classic smile. Dad. Mom. Godmother. Yuumi and Gohan shouted, dropping their things to run and hug their parents. Vadis, surprised by the title, was not expecting this. Good afternoon, Mr. Kakarado, Miss Kefla, and Miss Vadis, Bra greeted as she approached. Ha ha ha, Mr. Kakarado? That was good, Bulma laughed. Kefla silenced them, we have something very important to tell you, Bulma asked, what happened? And by the way, who is she? Looking at Vadis. Oh I'm sorry, where are my manners? I introduce myself, I am Vados, angel, guide, and teacher of Mr. Goku, Vados said with a slight smile. Goku solemnly explained, Bulma, she is my teacher from the future I come from, Kefla and I have to go, and solve something, and it will take us time. Gohan and Yuumi were taken aback, what? Are they going to leave? That's right, my children. We have to go to stop someone very bad, and dangerous, Kefla revealed. Yuumi inquired, and where will we stay? You can stay with Aunt Bulma if you want, Bulma offered enthusiastically. Gohan questioned, will it take a long time? We will try to finish as soon as possible, comma, I promise, Goku assured. Yuumi agreed, good, but you will have to teach us a super technique when you return. Kefla added with a laugh, ha ha, well, but in return, you must become stronger, is that clear? Gohan and Yuumi chorused, yes mom. Vadis intervened, well, I guess it's time to leave. Goku concurred, yes, let's start as soon as possible. Vadis extended her hand with the ring, opening a portal. Kefla warned, behave yourself, before passing through the portal alongside Vados. Do you hear? Goku said, looking at his children. Count on it, dad. Gohan replied with a smile, while Yuumi raised her thumb. May you be lucky to quickly find the person you are looking for. Bulma wished as she greeted Goku with her hand. Before crossing the portal, Goku looked at Bra. There's a technique that I showed Yuumi. She can only use it with you. Perfect it, he said with a smile before disappearing through the portal, which closed as soon as Goku passed. Bulma addressed the kids, well, you can continue with your homework. Yuumi and Gohan nodded as they took their seats again. Hey Yuumi, what did your dad talk about? Bra asked with curiosity. Yuumi looked at her with a smile and replied, the fusion technique.